Welcome to our Christmas play. One of the first things we learn is our ABCs. What better way to learn them than with a Christmas theme? We hope you enjoy our show. A is for angel appearing so bright, telling of Jesus the, that first Christmas night. For Bethlehem, crowded and old, birthplace of Jesus by prophet foretold. D is for David and ancient throne. He prompts forever for Jesus alone. E is for East, where shone the bright star. Miss Magi on camels followed afar. Joseph in a nocturnal dream. I is for Emmanuel, God with us, for Christ brought man back to the Father's house. I must for Mary, her mother's of faith, counting God faithful, my day to save.
were quickly a shepherd to her. Hasten to act. On the heavenly word. S is for Savior. To be this king. To be this king. The angel of God. The angel of God. Assigned in his name. Assigned in his name. T is for times of joy. Not of danger. Not of danger. Telling of him. Telling of him. Who laid in a manger. Who laid in a manger. Is for virgin, foretold by the sage, God's revelation, and prophecies page. Zeus for zeal that burns in Christ's heart, Lord by the Spirit, to us zeal and put. Hello everyone, thanks for being here today for our strategic planning meeting on Operation Word Made Flesh. Woohoo! Let's do this, Gabe. World Made Flesh. That has a nice ring to it. Yes, yes, this is a big one. The humans have been waiting for the Messiah for quite some time. Almost 2,000 years. 
What's a year? It's a unit of time they invented. What is time? Today, we just want to make sure everyone knows the plan. The word is ready and waiting to th become flesh. We just have to get everything in place and the higher ups will do the launch once everything is set. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to go down there and see it in person. Yes, it's beautiful. I remember your training. Humans are almost always terrified when they see us. Always start with... Do not, not be afraid. afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Very good. First things first, we need someone to approach Zachariah. The higher-ups have ensured he'll win the... Priestly Lottery. And we'll be in the temple. Perfect place to catch him alone. I would be honored. Zach and I are pretty close, although he doesn't know it yet. Wonderful. Just be ready. He can be a little sassy, and the news that his wife will be having a baby is going to be shocking to him. They are what the humans call old. Oh, does that matter? Gosh, no. If they'd been chosen, the higher-ups will make it happen. He'll just be surprised when you tell him his son will be the prophet to prepare everyone for the Messiah. He'll be excited. Don't worry. Okay, Zachariah is covered. Now Joseph is going to be a bit trickier. He's not going to be excited about his fiance being pregnant. What? She's getting the highest honor of all humanity? I know, I know. But they have these funny traditions, and they get pretty worked up when things don't go in the right order. But that's why we need someone to go to Joseph in a dream and make sure he understands that this is a good thing. It's it's the best thing. You got that right. How about you take this one then? I'll take care of it. I won't let you down, boss. I have no doubt. All right. Now on the big night, the higher ups want us to get the word out to the locals. Our intel on the ground says there's usually some shepherds hanging out not far from the stable. Personally, I think they would be the perfect ones to tell. They're nice, down-to-earth folk who usually get the cold shoulder from other humans. I think it would be great to get nice to get them in on this at the beginning. Love that, Gabriel! What a great idea! Thanks. So on the big night, we'll all head down to the hillside, tell the shepherds the Messiah was just born, and I think at that point, a chorus or two of praise will be in order, don't you? Should we should have a conducting stick, or should we just reform it? I will personally think we should practice. It's absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you all might be up for that. I don't think we need to practice anymore. Now the whole thing hinges on Mary. Oh, right. You think she's up to it? Obviously, the higher-ups chose her for a reason. I would think they have a sense she'll say yes, but I've been tasked with getting her officially on board. You got this, Gabe. I, you have a way with words. Thanks. I admit I'm a little nervous. This is the biggest mission I've ever led. I mean, this is going to change everything. It's a crucial step in the great plan. So, I'm thinking we should bring her now, you know? Really get her in on the plan, and that way you'll, you'll all be here if I need any backup. You mean she's going to Zoom with us right now? Oh my gosh, I'm such a fangirl. You know, the high, the higher-ups picked her. We got your back, Gabe. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mary is going to Zoom with us? To Zoom with us? I, I know, but let's try to keep this professional, everyone. Okay, everyone, go on mute. I'm going to bring her in. Mary, do not be afraid. Okay. You are like the best ever. God wants to honor you. You are going to have a baby, but not just any baby. The baby, the Messiah. It's happening, and you're going to be the one to help the word become flesh. Excuse me, you sure you got the right Mary? I know, right? 
and your cousin Elizabeth is pregnant too, even though she never thought she could have a baby. Nothing is impossible for God. Awesome! The Spirit is going to bring the word to your womb, and soon you'll have a son. You're supposed to name him Jesus. He will be so great and establish God's way on earth. So, are you in? Yeah! Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Awesome. It's a go. Okay, everyone, unmute. You've all got your orders. Let's do this. Thanks, all. See you in the field. Didn't we practice first? Yes, we're ready. Hopefully they are too. It should be a memorable birthday, that's for sure. In those days, the government decided that they should count everyone that lived in that area of the world. So Mary, so Joseph had to take Mary to his town, Bethlehem, to register. It took Mary and Joseph a long time to get to Bethlehem. This was very tiring for Mary because she was soon going to have a baby. When they reached the town, all the hotels were full and there were no that that they could stay. Finally, someone called back to them and offered them a place to stay. They stayed in a small barn where animals were kept. In any case, doesn't it seem strange that Jesus, the King of the Jews, wasn't born in a fancy palace or even a hospital? Mary and Joseph were, th were thankful that they at least had a place to lay down. It was warm and there was plenty of straw to lay on. That might on exci an exciting, wonderful thing happen. Mary, Joseph, Mary and Joseph had a ba baby, but it wasn't just any baby. It was a baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. The creator of the whole world, the king of kings, the one who would save the world. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to all people on earth. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas.